धन्यवाद ऑनरेबल मेंबर सी टी मोहम्मद बशीर जी सर थैंक यू वेरी मच सर दिस मेरा टाइम ट्रांसपोर्ट पोर्ट्स शिपिंग एंड वाटरवेज इनलैंड नेविगेशन एंड ऑल दिस थिंग्स आर फॉरमोस्ट पिलर्स ऑफ द सोशो इकोनॉमिक इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर ऑफ दिस नेशन दैट्स वाई आई एम क्वेट हैप्पी इन पार्टिसिपेटिंग इन दिस डिस्कशन सर विद रिगार्ड टू पोर्ट विलियम पोर्ट इज इन अवर स्टेट इट इज कमिंग अप वर्क इज द प्रोग्रेस इन प्रोग्रेस ओके देर वॉज सम प्रॉब्लम विद नो कनेक्टिविटी विद दन एच ऑनरेबल मिनिस्टर इंटरवीन इन दैट एंड फाइनली इट हेज बीन सेटल्ड नाइसली थिंग्स आर प्रोग्रेसिंग I humbly submit that uh, more expeditious action should be taken with regard to the completion of this uh, project. And uh, sir, now the other thing, Ponnani Port is in my place. It is uh, encircled with certain uh, formality kind of things. It is a private participation also. There are some hurdles. Minister may be aware of it. I hope that uh, we will attend that also. Sir, with regard to certain suggest suggestions, with regard to port, number one. establish strong linkages with private ports and ports under government that is major or uh, minor ports and this linkage would have uh, a lot of uh, benefits joint ventures can be uh, done and many things can be done in this the other thing is sir second point optimum utilization of unutilized land with the ports that is an area which we have to work a lot sir even expert says that the joint venture can be done there also even solar energy uh, generation that kind of things also can be done in this unutilized land or the proper this thing similarly sir uh, with regard to new ports all are demanding for that and of course there are uh, that is our ambition also but what i would like to say is that uh, we have to give a priority for the development of the excess in ports sir because we know that a uh, lot of uh, challenges are taking place international competition is, play, is taking place with regard to ports in that way increasing the depth of the major port existing port that's what i'm saying all this kind of improvement should be done as far as the existing ports are concerned we must give a priority for that also this is my next point is sir connectivity of the port to rail and road so that's a very important thing unfortunately that is not taking place sir ministry of sports uh, i mean ports shipping and waterway uh, ways once in a report they said that out of 98 road connectivity projects only 13 projects have been completed out of 91 rail connectivity projects only 28 projects have been completed so far as correctly pointed out by the committee so what i am saying is we must have a dedicated mechanism in this regard because sir without a road connectivity accessibility or rail connectivity the real purpose of the port can be saved that is to be done in importance should be given to that also similarly sir uh, the potential for ship building and ship uh, uh, repair that also may be given due consideration then my next point is sir our uh, potential for cruise tourism we are having we are having uh, near about uh, uh, 7517 kilometers of coastal belt there this kind of tourism we can develop very much honorable minister and everybody may be aware in the scandinavian countries they are making a lot of wealth out of this kind of things we are having inner potential I, I, what i am suggesting is optimum utilization of this kind of thing should be encouraged and we must take emergent step in this regard also sir sir when i am talking about the, this uh, port and other things inland waterways honorable chair also may be knowing that we are all having uh, a lot of uh, thing in this now what is happening sir whether it is uh, waterways in the uh, states or the national level there are many many hurdles sir the main thing is all this water is are under different kind of pressure what i am saying is there is a new type of crime that is water crime when i say that water crime the terminology when i am using that terminology you may ask what exactly is water crime sir 
What is happening in our sea? Our sea is roaring with sorrows. Sea pollution is taking place. Whether it is oil kind of things, and whatever it may be, its uh, quality maintaining is a very important thing, sir. Sir, our rivers are really dying inch by inch. That also is a concern. Similarly, sir, the beautiful face of our backwaters, lakes are becoming ugly because of the pollution. Than any other member, you may be knowing, sir, our Kerala tradition, our backwaters, there are enough of, uh, potentiality there. Sir, Kerala's uh, ABCs, A for Ayurvedic, B for backwaters, and C for culture. There are so we can see the, this kind of things. Yes. I have sea pollution, I told, sir. Kindly give me some uh, few minutes, sir. I will sea pollution, uh, sir, plastics. Sir, this plastic, one day the, our, our uh, uh, sea can be called as, uh, what is called plastic ocean like that. That also is uh, happening this way. Sir, in, uh, in this waterways, all kind of uh, pollution, toxins, hazardous chemicals, chromium, metal, uh, pesticide flowing from the agricultural field, lead, mercury, magnesium, dirt and slit, all these things are flowing and it's getting polluted more than. Sir, our river. Sir, recently I read an article. Title of the article is what? Yamuna is not a river, but it's a dirty drain. Things are taking place in that way already, sir. So what I'm suggesting is purification and quality maintaining of this wealth, the blessing of the God, that is to be done with due care. Sir, our country is proud of saying that all on ancient civilization have been grown in the bank of the rivers. But this kind of things are taking place. And we must have a control over that. Man-made calamities is happening, sir. And, and, and unless we address this issue, we cannot solve the issues as, as we expect. There are coming one more thing, sir. In Kerala, we are having near about 46 rivers. There are also many, many things are there. A river regeneration is taking place. Well, that's good. Sir, I am representing Ponani constituency where uh, Bharatapura is running, Nala is running. I humbly request the Honorable Minister to take care of that. In, in the rejuvenation program of the river, Bharatapura also may kindly be included. Towards the answer, I would like to say only one thing. Deep sea fishing policy of the government. So it needs to be reconsidered. There are a lot of anxiety among the fishermen. I humbly request the Minister to think about that loudly. The Ministry has a role of a guardian in the sea, fishermen's interest, that also is coming under this ministry. Of course, fishermen's ministry is there, but there it too has got a prominence in this. Sir, so my suggestion is only this. We must dedicate ourselves to protect all these goals. With all these wishes and prayer, I conclude my speech, sir. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Honourable Member Sri Anubhav Mohan, 